Dear Q Talks, if you get stuck looking in your rear view mirror, you will end up swerving off your main lane onto a dangerous path. And the reason why I say this is because I received a message from one of my followers on my website at qtalks.com, of course. And he told me how he likes to look in the past sometimes to give him momentum for the future. However, when he starts to look in the past, he gets stuck and starts living in the past. And that analogy basically means that when you're driving a car, you're always told to look at your rearview mirrors for anything that can cause an issue on your path going to whatever destination you are destined to be at. But what happens with us is that if you ever realize when you look in your rear view mirror, you start to see stuff that's going on back there and you start to veer off the road because you're so concerned about what's going on behind you that you're not focused on what's going on in front of you. And that all basically means about being present and not looking in the past and being present. I keep saying being present because I really tell everybody and I also am telling myself, especially since I've been back in New York, to be present. Being present, being focused on what is currently in front of you is what's going to help you move forward into the future. If you're driving a long road and you have a destination to the end, if you keep looking the past, you're going to keep swerving off to either oncoming traffic, onto dirt roads. You're never going to make it to your destination, especially make it safely because you're so focused on what's going on behind you or what happened in the past that it is actually detouring you for the destination that you are heading towards. I always tell people it's okay to take a glance because you need a glance, especially when something's going on, you need to look back to see what did you do before to get through this so you can move forward. But what happens with us is that we get stuck in what happened in the past or what someone did to us or what happened in our lifetime span till now that we tend to veer off. We tend to lose lose sight on what the end goal is. And that's where our issues and problems lie behind us. It's the same way how we're always like, oh, I don't want to be that person's friend because they stab us in the back. You rather someone stab you in the front because you can see what's going on. But if you're so focused on what's going in the back, that's how you're going to live backwards. And I know there are many people who are going through a lot in life, especially stuff that Sometimes it's hard for you to jump over that hurdle. But if you don't keep trying, you're only going to stay on one side of the hurdle. So no matter how many times you fail, you just got to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Because eventually your body will just be like, I, I got this and just jump over it. So like I said, stop worrying about what's going on behind you and move forward and focus on what is presently happening. You're alive. You're breathing. You're OK. You're happy. Just keep pushing forward because the end goal is near. So just keep going through it. Sincerely, a girl on her route.